Welcome back to 60 Minutes to Lose uh, with an episode that I have now attempted to record thrice uh, due to ongoing emulation issues that I finally have completely ironed out. Uh, yeah, this is Arkanoid. It's a game uh, that originally launched and uh, was packaged bundled with a spinner controller, so you could just spin a little knob and move the paddle. Obviously, I don't have anything of that sort here, so instead, I gotta use a D-pad, and that was where a lot of the emulation issues came in. If for some reason you're asking, what is Arkanoid? You've, you've played a variation of Arkanoid. This, right here. Whether you know it as Breakout, whether you know it as Arkanoid, whether you know it as, uh... <laughs> Whiz Orb. A goofy little Steam game from back in the day. Uh, we could have totally gotten that and gotten the ball. You know, I'm I'm a scared man, admittedly, when it comes to uh, trying to catch the power-ups and potentially getting roasted by the ball itself. See, like right there, that would have been one or the other. I, I, I couldn't have gotten both. Ah, okay, we have apparently slowed time down. Now, Arkanoid, even with a spinner controller, the way it's intended to be played, is not easy. Oh, okay, now we got the sticky ball. At least I think we've slowed down time. And, uh, oh, yeah, 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 we have. I was going to say, this isn't just like an emulation error, is it? But no, because the paddle's going full speed, as we can very plainly see. I think we just slowed it down even more. <laughs> okay, well. It's safe. Okay, that's an extra life, which is excellent. You will need as many of those as possible if you're going to get anywhere in Arkanoid. The slowdown power-up. It's safe strats. But it's not exactly going to uh, blow everybody's mind. All right, now we got the multi ball coming out here. Multi ball with the slow power up. There you go. Now things are very, very slowly going to uh, go our way. And I mean slowly. Using our powers of uh, geometrical awareness, we knew to get that one first. Okay, we lost one, even in slow-mo. Uh, if we had a spinner, would have been possible to save it, but, well, we're just playing with a good old D-pad here. Or analog stick, whichever, but uh, I can't I can't find a way to fully emulate an analog spinner. Okay, the slow has worn out. Nothing lasts forever. Oh, no. <laughs> that wrecked me. That wrecked me. I'm pretty confident that this game doesn't have any kind of uh, built-in continue system. Actually, I think it might have a continue code. But, uh... You know, if you're looking to just hit continue on the menu, well... You're in for a bad time. These wizard hats are, uh... Giving me grief. I feel like we've just bounced... We're, we're just bouncing the same way every time. There we go. We got it. We got it out of there. It's a little spooky. And look at that. Oh, no! I thought for sure that was going to hit our last block. Yeah. What's the point of Arkanoid? What's your goal? Pretty obvious. Oh, I think uh, human nature would dictate that you're just trying to uh, destroy all the blocks. Fortunately, I was not able to launch it directly into that final pink one. This is... The constant conundrum with Arkanoid and Arkanoid uh, adjacent titles. There you go, waiting for that last brick to get broken. It's always a pain. Now, that's what you like to see. You get them all above that line of, uh, not unbreakables, but your, your sturdier blocks, and then you just let them wreak havoc. Of course, we're already down to one, you know. <laughs> when I was a kid, I for some reason, uh, I always used to fear multi-ball situations, whether it was in Arkanoid-type games or in pinball games. Even though, you know, it's objectively a good thing, it can't do anything to hurt you. I just didn't like the stress of having to deal with all of them. Like, I felt obligated to always save all of them, so I, I always thought multi-balls were like a power down, which is obviously ridiculous. I was a stressed child, though. Oh, that was that was so bad. That was rough. There are quite a few levels in this version of Arkanoid, too, and uh, you know because it's so 
difficult. It can take you a good long while to get to that point. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how much progress I'm gonna make on this game in just one hour. Probably not a ton. Not with a uh, completely digital control scheme, at least. You ask, how how would you even try to emulate analog uh, controls? Well, I don't know, maybe the uh, shoulder buttons you could maybe spoof as kind of like spin that direction as... I don't know, maybe that would wind up being a little overly weird. Could be. Hey, back to the old drawing board. It's okay. I, when, when I expect this kind of thing to happen, it doesn't sting as much. If it's a game that I think I'm going to be half decent at... Oh, now it's real slow again. All right. And then uh, I wind up dying immediately. Then I get a little bit disheartened. But uh, this was a game that pretty much out of the gates, I said, okay. I'm not going to guarantee anything incredible looking this time around. <laughs> look at that. Just, Oh, yeah. Look at that quadruple hit right in the notch. You always want to hit the ball while you're moving just to get a little more junk on it. You like your ball sticky? Hey, me too. Don't say that sentence ever again. And there's your multi-ball. Obviously overriding the sticky ball. What, you think you can have it both ways? Don't get greedy. We've learned from Mighty Bomb Jack that uh, nothing ever came from greed except the torture room. As far as I know, there's no torture room in Arkanoid. The D-pad feels more precise, but the analog stick definitely feels better on my thumb, you know? It's like, you ever notice if you're playing an old PS1 game with, like, a DualShock 1, one of those pre-DualShock required games where you can play the whole thing on a D-pad? It's like, yeah, the game was designed for a D-pad, but when you start playing it with an analog stick, it doesn't feel half bad anyway. That's, uh, that's what we call that good shit, I believe. Okay, well, you know. If, if the ball wants to pal around up there... I'm not going to tell it not to, right? <laughs> That's right, you can't just keep your ball on your paddle forever. It'll eventually, uh, revolt and leave. Check it out. Laser power-up! The best power-up in the game. Get those last few blocks that are ruining your life. Child of me always appreciated a good laser power up in a breakout type game. Now, this would be one type of game where I could argue you might be better off finding a variant of it, even, uh, might be better off finding a variant of it on the Atari 2600, which I know. What are you thinking? Hear me out here. You want to get the official ah, you want to get the official Taito spinner controller for the NES? It goes for a pretty penny. Cheapest one I saw was Arkanoid bundled with it for 60 bucks. Which you know, for for niche electronics isn't that horrible, but uh it's definitely still some cashola. Now, you want to get an Atari 2600 paddle controller, you probably find those things in a free box at a flea market somewhere. They're not worth that much, <laughs> and I don't mean that. And I don't mean that to say that uh, they're bad peripherals. No, no, no. I mean that more so in a way of to say, uh, you know, there were very, very many of them manufactured and very, very many of them sold. They're maybe slightly less common than a standard Atari 2600 controller or joystick, as it were. Saved by the lasers, we get to see round three, so that's nice. Oh, look at this kind of spook. That's goofy. Goofy of me, by the way. Why did I go for that? Why did I go for that? Baited myself so hard. No! 
But yeah, the, uh, these breakout type games, and anything that really uses that, like, slidey paddle control scheme, those work well on the Atari 2600 thanks to the availability of the paddle controller. That said, if you're just made of money and you're like, I don't care, I'll get me a Taito slider controller, then hey, be my guest, get this version. This is, by all means, a perfectly functional version of Arkanoid. Did Breakout come out before Arkanoid? Is Breakout the original? I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little foggy on that part of my video game knowledge. <laughs> Sucks that I had to pick between those. Sucks again. This though. You're not making me pick between those. Well, I mean. You can't have the multi-ball and the laser, you know, again, uh, no, no greed allowed in this title. This Taito title. Oh. Definitely a name that I'd call more synonymous with arcade games than anything else. Good old Taito. But, as we've seen, you know, you tend to get, uh... Plenty of arcade conversions on the NES, so don't worry, we'll see more Taito. I can almost guarantee that. Oh, I hesitated. I hesitated internally. I was like, I kind of want the power up, but I can't afford to get it. But I took uh, just a split second too long to make that decision. That's when video games really get you when you realize, oh, I gotta make decisions in video games. I mean, sometimes you just have to point and shoot, but. Uh, no, no, no. That's being reductive. Even shooting games. A lot of people might not want to admit it, but you gotta make a lot of very quick on-the-fly decisions. Which way do I turn? Which enemy do I take out first? Which subtle movement do I make to best ensure that I don't come out of this encounter worse for wear? You know, I've, I've always been a uh, big advocate for video games in general and have said, uh, hey, the whole notion that uh, they're a brain-dead medium is, uh, I'm not gonna go so far as to say it's offensive, uh, that seems a little bit extreme, but uh, it's always been to me, it's always felt more cerebral than some people like to let on. And I'm not just talking like puzzle games too, like if somebody looks at a game like Myst, they're like, oh yeah, now that's a smart game. I know, I keep bringing up Myst on this channel, but hey, you know, it's an all-time classic. What? Sue me. But I don't think it's just puzzle games that you, you have to be a little bit smart with. You can name any game, and I will make an argument as to why it requires uh, a little bit of intellectual girth. I don't know if I'll fully convince you, but boy, I'll sure try my best to make a couple reasonable points. I had no idea Arkanoid had a story. After the mothership, Arkanoid was destroyed. A spa yeah, spaceship ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just goes on and on. You can pause it right there if you really want to see the backstory of Arkanoid, you know? If it's really that important to you. In which case, man. You know what? You know what I say to that? That's when you reset. <laughs> when you get one block and then immediately lose your ball, it's not even worth, uh... Not even worth keeping that up. Oh yeah, look at that, look! Oh! Oh, I thought I got that third one. If I, if I saved that third one there, that would have been a, uh... A, a, a most delicious play. I could get the multi-ball, or I could just stick with my laser, you know? Okay, fine, we'll get the multi-ball. I shouldn't have gone for the multi-ball. <laughs> Everything just left me. Oh, I, I, you know, didn't anticipate which direction it would fly. This run, not going so great immediately, as you may suspect. Why don't I keep picking up that one? That, that's uh, not 
one of my preferred power-ups, if I'm being honest. Which, why wouldn't I be honest about that? I mean, heck, if you lie about that kind of thing, well then, what can anybody trust you on? There are people like that, though. People who just, you know, will, for some reason, lie about the most pointless things. Like, things that, if they told the truth, nobody would be angry about them for. Nobody would give them any trouble for it. it it's like... You can just say that you like pizza rolls, man. You don't gotta say, I. Well, okay, maybe maybe somebody would give you shit for not liking pizza rolls, but it's, it's, you get what I'm saying. It's not gonna be a life-changing scenario for you if you don't lie about not liking pizza rolls. Ah. That was, that was just foolish of me. That was my brain going into maximum overslow. The game's no joke, you know? It's no joke. This was, uh... This was another one that the Mexican runner, uh... Said was very, very difficult. Alright. Slow. Enlarged. Now we're just back to the sticky ball, which, you know... I just got done saying, it's not my favorite. I gotta get better at just, like, saying no to when power-ups drop. Just because you can collect it doesn't necessarily mean you should right that moment. See, the enlarged paddle. That's a little more useful. Now, you want tricky control schemes in uh, breakout games. I actually do own a uh, copy of Super Breakout for the Game Boy Color. And obviously, you've got pretty much no choice but to just use a D-pad on that version. There is no expensive third-party slider peripheral that you can fall back on if you're feeling a hole burning in your wallet. Is that, is that the phrase? I don't know. You may as well grab it if it's the only thing here, right? All right, slow that ball down a little bit, you know, make make life a little bit easier. Enlarge ourselves a little bit, you know, haha, -ha, long boy. But yeah, uh, Game Boy Color Super Breakout, that's, that's a tricky one. I think they, at the very least, allow you to, like, hit uh, A or something to uh, start moving a little bit faster, so you can rush your paddle a little bit when you have to. There we go. Whew. I was like, do shoot the blocks, but don't shoot them so much to where you forget to save your ball. But the ball just never came back into play. Yeah, obviously getting it up there like that. Yeah, that's what you want. And then it just came directly back down. <laughs> what a terrible course of events. Stop going up there, man. Uh, uh, Should have stayed with the large one. Should have stayed with the big boy. Ah. Uh. You know, hindsight, man. If nothing else, video games are, uh, fantastic exercises in, in hindsight. Just like that, you know? Real good video game players will adapt. They'll, uh, look at their hindsight and they'll say, I will use this as a teaching tool to not make the same mistake. there's a difference between real good video game players and uh, epic pro gamers and you are talking to the latter I look at hindsight and I say it was the game's fault I don't do that oh, yeah, 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 yeah. see this is where I'm feeling ah this is where I'm feeling the issues with the uh, uh, entirely digital input here <laughs> just can't move my paddle fast enough and, you know, you could say, oh, well, just know where the paddle needs to be before you have to move it, forehead. I'd say, oh, well, wow. congrats, kid, you figured it out. You go to super school to figure that out? I went to super arkanoid school. I got a D. I'm not going to quite call it an F, because, you know, I can at least... I can at least get to level 3 sometimes. But no, uh, Arkanoid 
it, it, it ah, stop picking that one up. It, it is really genuinely fun. Even if you don't have the proper controller for it, <laughs> you can still have a good time with Arkanoid. I'm sure there are some fascists out there who will uh, disagree with me and say, no, Arkanoid's not fun, you're, you're dumb. And say, well, hey, you aren't fun either, that's why no one showed up to your birthday party. Your paddle's not fun, that's why your balls wouldn't go to it. Now let's not, let's not turn the topic of conversation into uh, paddling balls, you know. That just seems like a ill-begotten idea. Round two, you know, no big deal. We, we get to round two all the time. Don't get so excited. May as well pick that up. Uh, but you may as well pick that up even more. It's a much better power up. Okay, one of them's gone. They're, they're all gone? <laughs> I couldn't make the on-the-fly decision needed. I instead got made a complete fool of. But I'll own up to that, you know? We had a slider. Be a whole different story. But we gotta stop talking about if we had the right controller. Because we don't have the right controller. So, you know, we do, We gotta put up the best performance that we can without it. It's called adaptation. That's science, man. Some people will argue and tell you that. No, that's not science. That's just something that the entire scientific uh, community decided to agree on. And uh, I, don't, I decided not to because uh, um, you suck. I know better because I read an article that wasn't even an article. It was just a, uh, it was just a single picture with a sentence of text that somebody posted to Facebook.com. So, ha, huh, who's the expert now? That was, <laughs> I'm not the expert. After something like that, I can't claim to be an expert on anything. Even things that have nothing to do with Arkanoid. You know, I am, I'm no longer an expert of anything. Never mind. I am the greatest. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. You look at that. Th okay, well, I couldn't get the third one in. It just wasn't going to happen. The physics of a D-pad weren't going to allow for that. You know, cope a little more, why don't you, kid? Yeah, I'll cope all I want. I was, uh... I was in an online net discussion... Uh, where people were discussing, you know, the differences between PC gaming and console gaming, and I, uh, I do indulge in both, you know, I'm, I, I'm no stranger to either side of the road, and I just went in and I, I gave my reasons for, you know, when I think, uh, I prefer using my PC, and when I prefer using my console, and I, I've, I've recently been erring towards the, the, uh, side of consoles, and, uh, I gave all my reasons, and, uh, the only response I got was someone who just said, ha ha, cope. You're probably just an idiot when it comes to PCs. And I was like, wow, uh, I mean, so I'm not an idiot when it comes to uh, social interaction with other human beings at an extremely basic level. Am I right? A, hey. oh, no, for real, I, I, um, I shouldn't be surprised at the level of rudeness displayed because, you know, it's the internet. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I was kind of taken aback and I was like, really, you're, you're this angry that somebody else... Uh, is enjoying their video games on a different platform than yourself at this moment in time. That's, that's, that's impressive. Now, in all fairness, I, I used to be like that too. I used to be, uh, hey, PC man, it's my way or the highway. If you don't game on PC, get out. But, uh, you know, then I grew up. <laughs> then I realized that uh, there are more pressing matters in life than the platform in which other people play their video games on. And, and then I realized, oh, hey, wow. That's a dumb thing to care about. And that, you know, it's just an issue overall. I'm going to say with gaming, but it's probably with every hobby. You just tend to find the most pessimistic people online about anything. Oh man, narrowly made it past there. Narrowly! Woo. Which sucks because uh, I do... I do have such a wide appreciation for video games. It's very hard to uh, get into a comp. We can't make anything happen on round three. 
It's hard to get into a conversation online about video games that doesn't just evolve into uh, everybody hating everything. <laughs> like, people were talking about the Halo games. And of course, everyone was like, 343 three sucks! They ruined Halo! It's like, yo, they were, they were told, make some Halo, and that's what you're here for. So, you know, they were just doing their job, and quite frankly, I think Halo 4 and 5 are I Probably not the pinnacle of the series, no, but they're they're fine, you know? Far be it for me to complain about an experience that I would say is fine. There we go. Get that get that extra paddle. The extra paddle is gonna make a big difference in the long run. Ooh. I hope, you know, I, I hope I don't just waste it <laughs> in a Babby's first Arkanoid kind of situation. Ah the ball, it went the wrong way. Well, there's my answer. I just wasted it. But yeah, it's like, uh, there's so many people who, like, frequent gaming forums or f gaming websites and stuff, and you start to notice their username, and you're like, you literally only complain. It's like, is there anything you like? <laughs> is there a single video game in this world that you actually enjoy? The answer is always yes, and the answer is always Factorio, of course. But uh... <laughs> that's not me ragging on Factorio either. You know, I it's 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 maybe a little bit too big brain for me. I I, I find myself frequently getting very lost every time I try it. But uh, I also have a massive amount of respect for it because it is very clearly an incredibly well designed game. And see, that's how you can say something's not my cup of tea, but be positive about it. I haven't sat down and played a bunch of Factorio. It doesn't mean I'm going to say, yeah, I think Factorio sucks. <laughs> of course I don't think it sucks. That would be a ghoulish statement to make. Thank you. Thank you for getting the one block. <laughs> Jeez. I think you do get uh, considerably less points for shooting the blocks with, the ah! with your little laser, but... I'm not concerned about points. I'm not concerned about your goofy-ass meritocracy that you've developed here. I, uh... Oh, there we go. An extra life. Mm -hmm, there we go. Wasted it. <laughs> it's already gone, friends. Um, I think the golden blocks are actually unbreakable, which is, you know, kind of a uh, unfortunate twist. Yeah, that looks pretty unbreakable to me, and... Get out of my life. Remove yourself from my consciousness. It's Friday, though. It's Friday. It is indeed a Friday night. I am excited to uh, chill out for the weekend. If you're the kind of person who uh, says that you waste your weekends, I would ask you, well, what did you do that weekend? Because I... Because I can't make an assessment as to what the term of waste is, um, unless I know exactly what it was you were doing all weekend. Now, if you were, uh, say, doing something that you enjoy but wasn't necessarily productive, I would say that's not a waste at all. If you were staring at the wall all weekend and uh, literally didn't do a thing, well, that, that might very well be a waste, yes. I'm, I might agree with you on that point. But... You spent the whole weekend snuggled up to a fresh video game and didn't do anything else besides that. I'd say, hey, you do you, man. If that's what made your weekend the best weekend it could have been, so be it. I'm not, I'm not down with that whole. Oh, you uh, were being antisocial and not uh, doing things with other people you just played your video games I'm like hey man that's fine you know it kind of piggybacks off that whole uh, you know ragging on people for uh, enjoying video games in a uh, different format than you it's like who cares I think a lot of people uh, they feel like you're obligated to um, 
uh, socialize with them. And I'm not projecting right now. I'm not speaking out of, like, personal, like, oh, that just happened to me last week and I'm annoyed, so I'm going to rant about it. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, but I think for the people who do, like, sh uh, for lack of a better term, shame people for not, uh, like, going out more often or anything like that, I feel like that's, uh, that's a lot of, uh, feeling very entitled that that person owes you their time. It's like the person is saying, wow, well, the fact that you chose something that, something that involves you hanging out with yourself and not you hanging out with me, I feel the need to, uh, debase that and to uh, demean you for it. It's like, the only reason that that could ever be the end result is because you yourself are incredibly selfish. <laughs> you think that everybody else owes you their time. Or maybe it could be that uh, you're all like, oh, I I worry about you. You don't see people very often. It's like, yeah, it's, you know, it's true. So, uh, social interaction is necessary to not go feral. But at the same time, you know, people have different ideas of what they want from their social interaction. Like, I know uh, you're... Uh, fellow normal human might uh, go out to the bar. Well, in a non-pandemic scenario. Uh, although, you know, I, don't, I, know, I know a lot of kind of uh, not, not so bright uh, fellow human beings who would do that even in a pandemic scenario, but that's neither here nor there. Gosh, round three, slaughtering me every time. It, it's because the blocks are so close, you know? You don't get any time to react. Uh, but then it might be that, uh, hey, the person that you're trying to coax out of their house doesn't like the bar. They really do not like it at all. <laughs> Maybe they just either don't like drinking in general, or they don't like the atmosphere of the bar. They don't like being surrounded by a bunch of other strangers. And that's when it's like, hey, 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 hey. If that's your only idea of uh, trying to do your friend a favor is by making them leave out to do something that they really don't like, read the room. I'm not, I'm not going to say that you're a garbage friend because you're you're clearly trying your best, but at the same time, uh, forced fun, or mandatory fun, uh, never winds up uh, working out. The person who is trying to mandate the fun technically gets what they want because they've said, there, now everyone's out and doing the thing that I want them to do because it's what fun people do and it will make the day more fun. Uh, so I guess, congratulations, if it's a contest, then yeah, you won. Uh, this is gonna do this forever, isn't it? There, thank you. Uh, <laughs> gosh, this game is hard. But, um, guess what? You're the only person who feels like they've won. <laughs> it's like, you've, so you've coaxed your homebody friend out of their home. And they're miserable the entire time. You can't be like, well, you gave it a try. You left. See, it was worth it. It's like, but was it? Was it worth it? It's like, again, that's trying to... Trying to malleate someone into uh, your own way of living and just say, Hey, if you even try to live like I do, then that's better than what you were doing before because I don't value your concept of living. That's basically what that comes across as. Uh, I admit, I have in the past been guilty of trying to shoehorn people into what I think is fun. Uh, but obviously over the years, I've uh, come to the realization that like, hey, that's, although well-meaning, we reset those. <laughs> although well-meaning, it's not accomplishing anything. Nothing positive, at least. So yeah, that's how I feel about the whole, uh, oh, my friend wasted their weekend. Massive thunder clap just occurred. It has been storming lately like nuts. Like, it feels like every other day we've had a thunderstorm this week. Which, you know, I don't mind it. I only mind it when, uh, you know, my electricity goes out. And I go, no, the only thing in my life I live for is gone. That's not true. Don't worry. I'm not I'm not that uh, pathetic. That's the word we'll use. Uh, 
I want your green power-ups. I saw the pink one, and I forgot what the pink one did. Should have grabbed it. You know, purely for... For the scientific pursuit. Wish I could have gotten that laser, but, you know, it's... It's too dangerous going for it. Oh, the ball's getting fast now. Like, could you slow down, ball? Hey, look, it actually will slow down with that. Again, you know, the green power-up, it's nothing amazing. But if you don't already have a power-up, why wouldn't you grab it anyway? It's not worth overriding a better power-up for, but it's worth grabbing if you've got nothing else. Well, well, well. Look at that. That I could have sworn I would have had, but nah, nah, nah. That just that just slipped right around my paddle. That was that was unfortunate times right there. Round one, you know, it's. I think round two is actually an easier round overall. Well, thank you, uh, Wizard Hat, whatever you are, for allowing me to get out of that uh, endless hell. There you go. Get him over. <laughs> go back up there. Don't come down here until you've found something for the whole family to eat. The extra life. You love it. You love it. But it's only going to matter if we come out of this level in one piece. Oh, too fast. Too fast. You really do need the slider. I know. I'm still on that. Oh, it's not a game over yet. Forgot. I picked up an extra life. I know, I know. I was on a big, uh, maybe possibly interesting rant, and now I'm just, uh, now I'm silent as the grave, but you know, I, I'd like to get out of this in one piece, you know, give level 3 another shot. Not like we're in danger of not giving level 3 another shot, I mean, we've still got, uh, more than enough time left in this video. I'll get it. Arkanoid's got a story. Probably the greatest story since Tetris 64. No, not Tetris 64. Tetris Worlds. That's the one. Much better graphics than the N64. Come on now. Don't, don't be making those kinds of basic mistakes. I mean, the slow is good, but, you know, like, I was kind of digging the laser. But you know, it's my own fault. It's my own fault there. Yeah, pick up the green stickiness. All right, now it's a slideshow. You can count the frames. <laughs> now here, you'd think you'd have plenty of time to save all of them. But no, that's 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 how slow you move with a D-pad, man. You just knock it with the edge there, really give it some horizontal movement. I uh, frequently have dreams about um, running into an American Pickers style uh, treasure trove of video games and somebody being like, oh, you want some? Go ahead and take what you want. I don't need them. And uh, they're always the happiest dreams, because I'm like, oh, there's so much cool stuff here. I want all of this. This is amazing. And then I wake up. 
<laughs> Those situations do occasionally happen. Uh, I I see them happen in real life. I'll be like, hey, my neighbor just moved and wanted to get rid of some stuff. He gave me this because he knew that I collected it. It's like, wow, lucky bastard. <laughs> It's like, yeah, here's a sealed copy of Earthbound in the entire 3DO library. It's like, no, nothing quite that nuts, but... Uh... Obviously, if I had to pick between one or the other there, you're obviously going for the... No, I didn't mean 3DO, I meant uh, uh, Neo Geo. Yeah, 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 an entire Neo Geo library. If you gotta pick between the two, you gotta pick the Neo Geo library every time. That system is... Absurdly expensive to collect for. It came in uh, two models. There was, of course, the uh, multi video system, which was uh, your upright arcade style variant of the Neo Geo. And then uh, there was the multi video. No, no, I always said multi video. <laughs> then there was the advanced video system, which was the home console version. And boy, that sucker is expensive. I mean, I'm sure the MVS, the, the upright one, would be expensive as well, but uh, if we're talking even just like the carts, the games, if you want Metal Slug, say like Metal Slug 3, I'm just throwing an example out there, it might even be a bad one, but say you pick up like the MVS cartridge for Metal Slug 3, it might be like 30, 40 bucks, yeah, a little bit up there, but doable within the realm that any mortal could obtain a copy you want the avs version the home console version sucker's probably gonna cost you several hundred because nobody had a neo geo and why because even back then they were absurdly expensive i mean heck it came out around the same time as like the uh I think before the Super Nintendo even, and it literally had arcade guts in it. Like, it was technically identical to the MVS, but, you know, in home console, bite-sized fashion. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was an absolute beast. I'd love to get one someday, but, you know, I... I I can't afford to buy games for it. Now, you can buy, like, an adapter that allows you to, uh, plug, uh, the MVS carts into your AVS. So, you can get a ch much cheaper, uh, collection that way. But, of course, the MVS carts, because they were always inside an arcade cabinet, they also don't have any art on them. Uh, they got just kind of really boring end titles and everything on the end of the cartridge. Uh, there, there's... There's no finesse to him, you know? There's no prestige. <laughs> so it's like, if you just want to play that game, it, it works, yeah. But if you just want to play it, you know, you can also uh, emulate it. Or, even better, there's any plethora of Neo Geo compilations out there. Metal Slug is playable on probably, like, seven different consoles <laughs> in various different uh, compilation discs. So, yeah, the Neo Geo, I would say, is probably, out of all the old retro consoles, pro possibly the most hardcore one to actually collect for. If you just want pure expensive, the Saturn is also plenty expensive, but, uh... Ah, in terms of just sheer, wow, this guy knows his stuff, get yourself a Neo Geo, man. You know, maybe someday... God, ah, I'm not doing well. Maybe someday when I just uh, am making an absurd amount of money as, uh, you know, a socialite or something like that. <laughs> yeah, let me just become a socialite. Not, I'm not going to grow up and do it. We're just going to get there on our own merits. It's kind of a dark plot, actually. I just read that. Are we the spaceship? What's the ball? What's everything else? I, I want answers. We need an anime adaptation. We need a live action adaptation of that anime adaptation. And then we need an entire comic book line. That's how much I need to understand the lore of Arkanoid. Again, we that's a reset situation right there. 
I've had some people say, uh, in past episodes, I've been too quiet. Did a little bit of tweaking, changed a couple little dials and all that. Please let me know if there was any change. If I need to make more extreme changes, let me know. I can tweak the volumes even more. I listened back and I thought, ah, yeah, I'm a little quiet, but uh, I didn't think I was, like, unrecognizably quiet or anything like that. By unrecognizably, I mean uh, impossible to make out. So, you know, I just uh, blatantly used the wrong word. What are you going to do about it? I'd love to, you know, just make it past round one and round two without any, uh, major incidents. Oh yeah, 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 extra life. That's, that's absolutely worth ditching the laser for, I hope. Uh, I mean, you know, now, now we're just at the point where it's like we didn't lose any lives if we didn't get the bonus. I'm just, I'm in the bargaining phase of grief already, you know. Come on, get that final little red thing. Now I'm starting to think that maybe the laser wasn't worth ditching because, uh, there we go. Would have been long over, but... Look at that, we still got two paddles on that sidebar. We need about 5,000 more points to uh, get another extra life. I put the emphasis on a strange syllable when I said that, but you know. That is the kind of thing that I really hate seeing. There's some very, there's some very amateur mistakes, you know. myself. Things were looking so good. And then a giant thunderclap, just to be as ominous as possible. Okay, can we... Just even having one life in reserves for round three. I mean, I'm talking about round three, but there's a uh, non-zero chance that we don't even <laughs> make it there. Saved it. I thought I was gonna bounce off further. Oh no! <laughs> Wish you could launch the ball off to your left side, but no, it's always gotta launch off to the right like that. It just makes makes these kinds of uh, brick stack ups on the left side just a little more complicated. You're seeing this. You're seeing this. It's happening exactly as you've dreamed it would. That is to say, in the most uh, sad and unfortunate manner possible. good so I just had a uh, just had a brief moment of um, clarity but about something entirely unrelated <laughs> to this episode so I, I just had a uh, totally unrelated internal uh, not an internal struggle but you know an internal uh, discussion with myself about something very briefly there I know how unprofessional I am refunding my patreon pledge <laughs> just kidding i don't have one of those nothing would make me feel like a bigger chump than averaging five video uh five views a video and then saying i got patreon man give me money you know it's like where do you get off trying to solicit three whole people for cash man scumbag that was another very very loud uh, that wasn't even a thunderclap that was a thunder growl all right, well, round one, you know, 
I knew that this was going to turn out this way. <laughs> I knew Arkanoid was going to uh, be a little odd without the essentials. But, you know, we're still getting a feel for what the game is. Not like we need it, and again, you've all played our, you've all played it in some fashion. If you're gonna look me in the eye and say, uh, Paul, I have never played a version of Arkham Order Breakout, I'm gonna say, I think I know exactly who you are, and uh, I will give you crap for it on Discord later. Either that, or you are a zoomer. And that's fine, you know, hey, hey, hey. If I ever uh, say the word zoomer, don't think that I'm using it uh, disparagingly. Don't think that I'm saying it to mean like, oh, well, I, I'm putting you down because I'm even mentioning you in the same breath as literally anything else. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, yeah, people like to, you know, poke fun of the whole, oh, zoomers, Fortnite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Six, nine, whatever, and all that. And I'm like... You know, from what I've heard, actually, Generation Z is is uh, one of the most genuine and positive, well-meaning generations that we've seen in a long, long time. I know a few teachers out there who are like, uh, yeah, I've been teaching a couple generations now, and kids nowadays are more compassionate and understanding than, like, any other group of kids that I've dealt with. And you know what? I can believe that. It's like Gen X and Millennials, I being one of those, yes, um, a, were a very sarcastic and uh, cynical group. And it seems like Zoomers are kind of uh, straying from that. You know, like they want to be as wholesome as possible. They want to be as genuine with each other as possible. If they uh, if they say that they really love something, they actually really love it. They're not going, oh, yeah, I really love that. And, uh, you know, despite being part of the sarcastic generation, I respect that hugely, actually. I'm, like, uh, God, those old tacky shirts back in the day that you probably get at Walmart or something like that. Or something like that that's all like oh i speak two languages english and sarcasm or like sarcasm uh if you don't get it you're dumb or you know just something stupid like that it's like honestly being genuinely full of um compassion for something is so much more endearing than being like wow ha, ha, wow imagine enjoying life <laughs> imagine trying Wow, uh, you get what I'm saying, right? It's like, and obviously, you know, there's exceptions to the rule. Not every millennial is a uh, sarcastic jerk. Not every Zoomer loves everything about life and uh, supports everybody else unconditionally. But you know, it's like, it's about the general trends. You know, obviously, bullying still exists in schools, but from what I've heard, the bully is, the bullier is. Uh, becoming much more likely to uh, get a lot of flack for it than in, in prior generations. You know, uh, there were the days of the uh, boomers where, you know, the bully was probably the top dog at the school. But it seems like with every generation, that mindset tends to uh, get further and further diluted, which can only be a positive thing, you know. I don't think anybody is going to look at uh, bullying in schools and say, I miss that. Where's that nowadays? I, although the terrible part is, yes, somebody has probably said those exact words. Because people are awful. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, what are you going to do about that? Oh, I hate this level. I hate this stage. This round, as it were. Can't even beat the high score, man. Blame it on my D-pad, man. Or just blame it on my own inability to play the game properly. <sighs> See, that was on me. That was purely on me. I had every opportunity to save that, and I uh, I flushed it down the drain. I said, no. 
No, 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 we don't need that. So, so be it. Which is a shame, because uh, the game was going pretty decently up until that point. Had this game been made with the D-pad in mind and they did the whole uh, super breakout thing where you could just press A to just move your pad a little bit faster? Something uh, half-decent could have come out of this. <laughs> and you know, actually, mice work quite well for breakout style games too, obviously. I mean, you don't just... Uh, <clears throat> move your mouse to the left and then your uh, cursor just travels all the way to the far left region of your screen. No, that would be the worst possible way for a mouse to work. No, that's that's full analog movement, you know? Someone's got to play Arkanoid with a flight stick now. Get a Hotas or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't forsake, don't forsake the laser for something else that looks flashy. Oh, sorry, I ate an entire large Brooklyn-style Domino's pizza, and I'm, uh, you know, let's put it this way. I can see why they call it uh, gastronomy, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Crude humor. Ah, that's, that's bad. That's bad. Bad is the opposite of good. We've come to that point where I am now defining words that a uh, three-year-old child understands. At least I certainly hope your three-year-old child knows what bad means. If they don't, well, boy, you're going to be in for an absolute tsunami of a childhood there, my friend. They, of course, know that bad is the first word uh, in the title of the movie Bad Boys, the greatest film ever created. Uh, end of story, no contest. I jest. I've never actually seen Bad Boys or Bad Boys for Life. <laughs> Bad Boys for Life was the third movie, right? It already had a sequel back when they were both uh, younger, if I'm remembering correctly. Good old Will Smith before he felt like he had to do every movie for his kids. I mean, now he just does every movie with his kids. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. That's how I'm feeling about that. That's how I'm feeling about this abysmal performance that I'm throwing in. I can only feel like I owe everybody who is watching this video a personal apology. <laughs> Psych! I don't owe you nothing! <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell when you want to be notified of new videos coming up, and uh, be sure to uh, type in promo code... Uh, LOL sticky balls for your um, free G fuel sample. This this thunder has got me uh it's got me a little nervous. You know, like I'm not gonna exaggerate, but I think the end times might just be upon me in my own basement. The rest of you get to move on with your lives, but uh, my my basement in particular is experiencing some major rapture right now. Incidentally, I was watching a, a Twitch streamer from the other side of the world playing some Trackmania. It was thundering for him, too, so what does that tell you? It's a conspiracy. Hashtag thunder is fake. Yeah, that's more like it right there. 
apologize for the uh, f for the vile coughs. Let's get just about in that video. Look at that. That's uh, 59 minutes and uh, 57 seconds right there. Boy, what a what a way to fizzle out. Am I right? Yeah, that's Arkanoid. You know, uh, it's a good game. It's always been a good game. It would take a lot of effort to mess up your classic brick-breaking title like that. Uh, obviously, you know, plays better when you have analog control with a little dial controller or something of the sort. But you know, a little gimped on a D-pad, but still a well-made game. A classic. Uh, tomorrow, we have a terrible game. Uh, pu published by SNK and developed by our best buds ever, good old Micronics. It's Athena. A notoriously bad game. Uh, it's it's gonna be awful. I'm 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 looking hugely forward to it. Obviously, <laughs> uh, sometimes awful games can be just as entertaining as real good games. Sometimes they're just a genuine horrific experience. Either way, join me tomorrow as we continue August 1987 with Athena. We'll see you then.